Hi, I'm Suzanne Manassian. I'm the product manager for IBM Lotus Connections. Lotus Connections is an enterprise social software suite of applications that helps you discover information and people. It consists of five services, profiles, blogs, dog ear, our social bookmarks, communities, and activities, and brings all of this information together in what we call our homepage. Let's see these services in action. I'm going to take you through a demo of all of the Lotus Connection services. Has it ever happened to you that you received an email from your boss asking you to start a new project that you have no idea where to begin? One place you can start is Lotus Connections. Here within Lotus Connections, let's say your project is around starting a new initiative to help make your company more environmentally friendly. Well, one thing you can do is you can search through all of the Lotus Connection services to find out what information and what people have shared about environmental issues in your company. Here we're going to do a search in our global advanced search and find all of the related blog entries, social bookmarks, activities, even communities that discuss the environmental issues. You see all of these results in one list and you can also view the tags that are most frequently used across all of these services including conservation, energy, green, and we can filter on these tags as well. We can also view who the most active people are that discuss this topic. Here we see Jasmine talks about the environment frequently and we can actually use our pop-up business card to navigate over to her profile. Now we're going into Jasmine's profile. This is another service in Lotus Connections. Here we can view her contact information to find out where she sits in the organization, even see if she's online at the time. And we can also view information about her, like her background and her About Me information. And we can also view what she's recently posted to Lotus Connections, what communities she belongs to, and blog entries that she's made. We can view her reporting structure, and if we would like, we can tag her so that we can find her more easily when we come back to Lotus Connections. We can also add Jasmine to her colleagues, and by doing that, we can stay informed on what new things Jasmine's added to Lotus Connections. Using our business card dropdown, we can navigate over to her other services as well. Here we're going to navigate over to Jasmine's communities to see if Jasmine participates in any communities that we might be interested in. Here we see a list of all of her public communities and we can see that she belongs to a community called Green Hands. Green Hands might be helpful to us in our project on environmental initiatives. Let's take a look at what information is being shared in the Green Hands community. The first thing that we see is that there's a discussion forum where the Green Hands participants can discuss topics and share pictures and information as well. And we can view this in a threaded discussion as well. Also from the community, we can see that other applications can be added into the community. Communities are important to have applications that tie into them for different reasons. Some communities prefer wikis as a way of being able to share information. So we've integrated with social text and Confluence wikis so that that information can be brought directly into the community. Here you can see that the social text wiki that's associated to this community has information that's being pulled into our community page. It's important to note also that the membership is being synchronized between the community and the wiki so that the community manager doesn't have to do this in, one, in separate places. The community can also share information like common feeds and have a common feed reader and social bookmarks as well. And we can use the navigation card again to navigate over to other components. Now that we've seen this community, let's take a look at what Jasmine is sharing in terms of her social bookmarks in our dog ear application. With the dog ear, you can share bookmarks with other people in your organization. By sharing bookmarks, you can take them out of your browser and put them into an online forum where others can look at your bookmarks and also note which bookmarks are most popular in your organization. You can also mark them private as well if you'd like to keep some of them private. 
with Jasmine's bookmarks, we can see that she is very heavily interested in the environment. Here we see that she has a lot of bookmarks tagged environment, energy, conservation, and we can filter her bookmarks based on the tag that we select. We can even refine this further and go into another tag that's related, for example, energy or conservation. We can take the list that we're looking at and we can add that to our watch list. So we can take Jasmine's bookmarks tagged with environment, or if we prefer, all of, Jasmine books, all of Jasmine's bookmarks, or even all the bookmarks that are tagged with environment and add those to what we call our watch list. With the watch list, we can view who's watch listing us and also what, what tags people are watch listing. Here in Jasmine's watch list, we can see that Betty has actually bookmarked her to watch list her for a couple of tags. Well, we might want to actually look at what Betty's sharing in her social components as well. So we'll navigate over to Betty's blog to see what Betty's discussing. Now here's the blog service within Lotus Connections. And we can see from the main screen that Betty has a few blog entries and we can see what their ratings are and the number of comments as well. We can actually sort based on that or go into one of her blog entries. Here we see that she's discussing some of her resolutions on how to be more effective at, at conserving the environment. And we can see she's gotten some ratings for this particular entry and also some comments, which can also be rated as well. Now that we've seen a few of the social software components in Lotus Connections, we may want to bring these people and this information together in a service we call Activities, where we can get our work done more effectively. In this case, build our initiative. Within activities, we can bring information, people, emails, all together in one place and collaborate around them. Here we have our activity around the initiative that we began called Assessing Our en en Environmental Impact. If we go into that activity, we can see that it's divided into a few sections. Here we have our initiatives, we have our resources, including emails that we've dragged and dropped from our email client and even instant messages that we've included as well. And we're also having a, a section here called Prospective Consultants, which we've added based on this activity's needs to include people who we're evaluating to bring in to help us out with our, uh, our assessment. Here we can see some custom information that we've added in and also some comments from other people who are helping us along with our activity. Now we can go back into our email that we receive from our boss and we can take that email and drag and drop that right into our, our particular activity that we're working on so that we can get started and we can also see that we have a preview of that information that we've added into our what we call our activity sidebar for our email. Now that we've seen all of the Lotus Connection services in action including profiles, social bookmarks, blogs, communities, and what we call activities you can be more effective at managing information and connecting with people with your organization using Lotus Connections. Thank you for joining me in this demo today.